autonomy is the feeling of having choice, right? You're, you're, you're choosing, you have, you have some say, some ownership over the behaviors of what's going on in your life. Uh, and, and you have the, the freedom to, to tackle obstacles and problem solve, and do these things and learn on your own a little bit, right? Uh, competence. So the feeling that you can get better, you have the tools to get better and you have a plan to get better, gives you that confidence that, that, that you can, you will have that path to mastery and uh, relatedness. So the connections to your coaches, your teammates, your organization, the connections to others, this is like team chemistry and, and feeling like you're a part of something bigger than yourself. These are three conditions that if you can meet those in your environment for your athletes, they will be motivated. And, you, and this is, this is, this stuff makes sense to everybody, whether you could be in the workforce, you can think about this too. You know, if you're in a situation where you're given autonomy to do your job, you're not being micromanaged by your boss, you feel like you're good at what you're doing and there's a plan that, that you can develop and move up within the company and you feel connected to your boss and your coworkers and, and your company at all you believe in. Like if those, if those conditions are all being met, you are motivated, right? You're, you're feeling good about, about what you're doing. Well, when you take time to create a holistic player development plan and it's individualized for the person, uh, you're hitting on these, right? So autonomy, you're giving them choice, taking responsibility for their own development. When they self-assess themselves, when they create, they set their own goals, they are taking charge. They're taking ownership of what they're doing. And so they're feeling a sense of autonomy. And the plan is building competence, right? It's directly, they're directly taking action towards the, meeting their goals. So having a plan gives them that confidence. And then the relatedness, just about you're developing chemistry between player and coach. Like I said, we sometimes player and coach are separate. You want to bring them together. This, this is the best way, right? Like you're meeting uh, together to help them improve, to help them achieve their goals. So you're connecting this player to the coaching, to the team, to the program, and uh, and and just spurring on further growth. And so uh, this is this is certainly something that the self determination theory that I encourage people to to look into.